marked a steady rise in Georgia's economy. Once central to the former Soviet Union's development and manufacture of weapons, Georgia has recently resurfaced as a potential player in the world military industry, with active contracts in Russia, Turkey, Germany, and even has stated the need, especially in these times, for a reliable source of oil in the Middle East. Commerce Secretary Moore, on a visit to Azerbaijan this morning, noted the tiny nation's enormous potential for oil, calling on American investors to provide the necessary funds for tapping the reserves. In many ways, a leader from a bygone era. His beliefs are very firmly founded in Georgian orthodoxy. His political standings more in line with the early... 20th century. Would you fault him then as a politician? No, no, not at all. Kumbe Nikolaitz is all politician. He's done wonders for the Georgian economy. A brilliant tactician. It's more a question of ethics. And ethically speaking? Well... Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Splinter Cell. This is Brian with Undead Empire Gaming. Uh, so last week we finished our uh, true first mission uh, as a splinter cell. Uh, we investigated the deaths of uh, two CIA agents. Uh, and they seem to be linked to the new Georgian president. So, let's see. Discover President Nikolaitz's secret. CIA agents Blaustein and Madison were killed for getting too close to information Georgian President Cobain Nikolaitz needed to protect. Vyacheslav Grinko, a Russian mercenary, is closely tied to Nikolaitz's secret. They have arranged to meet at the Ministry of Defense. Echelon got a positive ID on your target from the morgue security cameras. A guy named Vyacheslav Grinko. Grinko. How do I find him? By his license plate. And if he's not with his car? Then his driver will be. Grab him and make him talk. Don't be afraid to use force. Who? Oh, me? Grim's daughter just pulled up the schematics on the Ministry. They've got a laser security grid online in the courtyard. So I stay out of the courtyard. Don't let them trigger any alarms at all. We still don't have any official approval from the Joint Chiefs for this operation. So one slip up and it's mission over. All right. So we gotta be a snick a snick. Great start. Echelon got a positive ID on your target from the morgue security cameras. A guy named Vyacheslav Grinko. How do I find him? By his license plate. And if he's not with his car? Then his driver will be. Grab him and make him talk. Don't be afraid to use force. Who? Me? Grim's daughter just pulled up the schematics on the ministry. They've got a laser security grid online in the courtyard. So I stay out of the courtyard. Don't let them trigger any alarms at all. We still don't have any official approval from the Joint Chiefs for this operation. Oh, so one slip up and it's mission over. So, garages are usually on the ground floor. So, I think we need to go down.
Fine. Got some faulty cameras there. Why, yes, I would love to save a checkpoint. <laughs> Uh, 84 KP 214 is the I can't tell it's a little fuzzy, but that's that's a license plate right there. So if Grinko isn't with this car, then we need to find his driver. Ooh, and that looks like a driver. Sorry, caught you with your dick out. What the hell? I'm going to ask you some questions. <laughs> when I think you're lying, I'll do this. I... Who do you work for? Vyacheslav Grinko. Tell me about him. He used to be Spetsnaz. Now he's mercenary. He works for President Nikolaj. Where do I find Grinko? He is meeting Mass in the elevator by the courtyard. Who's Mass? Philippe Mass, some computer guy. He has access to Nikolaj's office. What's this meeting about? I don't know. I swear. It's got to be something bad if Nicholas is willing to see Grinko face to face. I need you to understand that we never talked. I understand. Good. Convince me we never talked. If anybody finds out, Grinko will murder me. And you're frightened of Grinko. God, yes! I want to hear what Grinko and Mass talk about in that elevator. I'll need to deactivate the courtyard laser grid to get in position. Then do it. Oh, hello. Some bottles.
this the way I came? Yes, it is. Did I get this computer? I feel like I came like at this. Alright, I don't want to knock too many people out, because that can usually result in alarms. Uh, has personally requested that I impress on you the importance of our guests, the Canadian Philip Mass and Vyakoslav Grinko. Okay, since Grinko is coming to employment, his many crimes in Georgia have been pardoned. And he's to be treated with utmost respect. Alright. That was a pretty shitty camera replacement. I'm lucky I fucking caught that. Laser grid in the courtyard is active. I don't want any false alarms caused by this grid. It triggers simultaneous alarms at five separate police and... Ooh, ugh. You can disable the grid from the security terminal in the main hall of the south wing. Okay. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, so we discovered that Grinko is going to be having a conversation with, uh, looks like a tech guy, Philip Mass. And so I need to figure out, oh, look at that, there's the lasers. I gotta disable those. So next episode I'm going to disable the laser grid of the courtyard. So, and I think that's the, uh, the elevator right there that I'm going to eavesdrop, eavesdrop in on. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you next time.